Hey guys, SP Magix here. So in this video, I'm collaborating with Cardman Tutorials. His name is Mark. So he's gonna do the performance. I'll leave a link down in the description. Go and see it, and then come back for the tutorial. So guys, I hope you saw the performance. Now here's the tutorial. You just select a random card as your prediction. And now you have the corresponding prediction card from the deck you're performing and you're gonna place them at the top of the deck. Now here is the setup. You just have a suit selected and you're gonna be arranging them from ace to king like this. And just place them on the bottom of the deck. Now here is an exception to this trick. You can't show them that all the cards are shuffled since this setup might flash to the spectator. So this is the only exception. You could also perform an overhand shuffle like this, maintaining those 13 cards here. So it's not compulsory to perform this overhand shuffle. So it may also get kind of messed up. So you need not perform that if you are a magician who's just beginning to start your career so yeah if you're a kind of an advanced magician you can also perform a false cut i'll leave a link to the false cut there up on the cards so those 13 cards are here in this order okay from king to ace like that now we're going to be performing what's called a card force okay i'm going to teach you a very 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 easy card force now you place the corresponding card which you predicted at the bottom of the deck and now hold it like this okay it's like this now i'm gonna teach you what's called a hindu force now you just peel off the cards like this small small packets okay from the top of the deck now wherever they say stop the spectator you're just gonna be showing them this card over here okay now they think it's a random card but you know that it's the fire spade. So you kind of force them to pick the fire spade. But they think it's a random card. And they don't know that we predicted the fire spade. So just perform a Hindu force, okay? This is the easiest force, I think. According to me, it's the easiest force. So you just peel off small packets from the top. And wherever they say stop, you're just going to be saying, this is your card. And you just show them, you cannot see it, okay? Of course, you should not see it. So let's say this is stop right there. You just show it to them, okay? And you're just gonna peel off that card and place this packet right at the bottom, okay? So now you have the setup perfect like this in the bottom. Now you kind of act that you don't know what card they picked, but actually you know that it's the fire spade. Now you ask them to place it on top of the deck, okay? Now, the rest of the trick is going to be self-working, that it's going to be working on its own. You need not perform any kind of sleight of hand or nothing, okay? It's so, so, so easy since it's self-working. Now, you ask them to cut the deck wherever they want and complete the cut. So, what's happening here is that your entire setup is going to go above the spectator's card. And they could just give as many cuts they want, okay? You should be clear in your words. You should not ask them to shuffle the deck. You ask them to cut the deck, okay? So yeah, cutting doesn't actually mess up the order that you perform, that you actually set up, I'm sorry. So yeah, they can give as many cuts as they want. Now, you're just gonna turn the deck like this and see if the bottom card is a diamond, okay? If it's not a diamond, you ask the spectator again to cut the cards as many times as they want, okay? And when you see a diamond pop up right there, you're just gonna stop them, okay? Since, yeah, right here, you're gonna stop them when you see a diamond popping up. Now, you should actually know that their card, the fire spade, is actually the fifth card from the top. One, two, three, four fifth card the fire spade as i told it's self-working you need not worry about this okay 
you could have them cut as many times as they want now the spectators caught in the fifth position now they can just cut as many times and now if you see a diamond here you can actually conclude that their card is in the third position from the top one two and the three okay now if you don't see a diamond here in this case it's like this you ask them to cut one more time and if they cut to a diamond card you're just gonna say that your card is in the corresponding position okay so now the tenth card is the spectators card now here is the very important one if it lands like this what to do jack is the eleventh card queen is the twelfth and king is the thirteenth i'll put up the values in the side so that you can actually see them and figure it out now it's self working from as you can see so now they cut the cards like this and when they cut to a diamond you just say you just kind of act as magicians do you can just say i'm gonna feel the atmosphere the vibes like this and i just say their card is in the 11th position since you saw a jack here and you can have them count to the 11th position 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11th card is the spectators card now they might actually run crazy they are kind of crazy right now to make them more crazy you just say i had already predicted a card here and that card is none other than the fire spade now you're gonna be the superstar at the place where you're performing so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you enjoyed the performance go and leave a sub to codman tutorials and also please subscribe me and all those great things as universe and we guys say so yeah guys that's all thank you stay safe and bye